Joe's No Flats offers three different sizes of tubeless systems, and they are color-coded. 15 to 17 millimeter wide rims will need the white kit. 17 to 19 millimeter wide rims will need the blue kit. 19 to 25 millimeter wide rims will need the yellow kit. Make sure you have the proper size tubeless rim strips for your rim. You can measure your rim in the following manner. 19 millimeter inner rim width. This rim will need the blue tubeless system. This kit contains 500 milliliters Joe's Super Sealant. The bottle is enough for four to eight mountain bike wheels. Empty applicator bottle for easy insertion of sealant through the valve. One roll nylon rim tape for two wheels. Two high quality rubber tubeless strips with integrated Presta valves. One Presta valve adapter, one spare Presta valve core, one plastic Presta core key. Open the plastic cap and the lock nut. Release the rubber band and open the tubeless rim strip. Joe's tubeless rim strip is designed to fit over your existing rim tape or liner. Or, you can use the rim tape included in the kit. To install the tubeless rim strip, insert the valve stem through the rim and finger tighten the nut. With your hands, gently stretch the strip onto the rim. And then equalize the tension and make sure the strip is centered in the cavity of the rim. Press the rim strip with your finger just under the bead lock of the rim. If the rim strip is a bit wide, it can stick out one millimeter above the bead lock. Set the wheel inside the tire first, so each side of the tire is mounted from each side. Mount one side of the tire and check that the tire is seated inside the rubber rim strip and not pinching or folding part of the rim strip under the tire. Now mount the second side of the tire. <laughs> Remove the valve core with the plastic Presta core key. Pat the tire all the way around. Press the tire down with your hand a few times. You should hear air going in and out. Now we're ready to inflate the tire. The tire should be hanging to inflate successfully. Hold the wheel in one hand, valve at 12 o'clock, and press the tire straight down with your thumb into the valve. This will cause the air to inflate the tire instantly. The tire should inflate and hold air for a few seconds. When you are sure the tire will hold air, you are ready to add sealant. Cut the spout of the applicator bottle at a 45 degree angle, 4 to 5 millimeters below the top, and remove the cap. Shake the 500 milliliter bottle of Joe's Super Sealant and pour into the applicator bottle. Shake well and insert the bottle at the 12 o'clock position and move the valve to 8 o'clock. Squeeze desired amount into the valve. Because the grains settle fast and will clog the valve and spout if inserted straight down. If valve or spout is clogged with grains, use a nail or spoke to open the passageway. Inflate to 40 psi. Replace the valve core and tighten with the plastic key. Spin the tire around a few times. Hold the wheel in front of you and shake the bottom of the wheel toward and away from you. Continue until you've worked your way all around the wheel two times.